Hi everyone, it's Jenny here from Texo. In today's video, I'll walk you through using the data store and filters in Texo. Let's dive into some key concepts first. Elapsed time and runtime. Elapsed time, displayed over here, is the time representing the duration needed to complete an automation. It includes cloud runtime as well as any delays from your daily limits. If an automation reaches its daily limit, it pauses and resumes on the next day. Elapsed time covers the entirety of this process. Next, we have cloud runtime. This measures the actual processing time of your automation requests, including any delays. The cloud runtime link to your account depends on your subscription plan and is visible over here on the top of your dashboard. It sums up the runtime of all your workflows and automations. Next, we'll explore the data store filters. The data store is a vital tool for managing and analyzing your automation data. Here is how to utilize the various filters available. Let's head over to the data store. Here we have the search workflows. We can quickly find a specific automation or workflow in your data store by keyword, for example, profile scraper. Or people, let's search for people. There it is. Next, we can filter by store. Here you can organize your data results based on the store type, automation store, workflow builder, or even API setups. Next, we can filter by status. Automations and workflows are marked with statuses like completed, running, or failed. Here you can filter your search by these statuses to locate what you need swiftly. Next, we can filter by account. You can narrow down your results by selecting the social account associated with the automation or workflow. And last, we have filter by platform. Here, you can sort your data by platforms such as LinkedIn, Twitter, Reddit, Google, etc. Managing your workflows and automations. You also have a button to create a new workflow in the data store that will navigate you through to create a new workflow. If you want to delete a workflow or automation from the data store, you can do so by selecting it. You can also select more than one, one or more than one, and clicking the delete button over here. Viewing your data. You can use the See Data button to access the outcomes of an automation. Here you can search by keyword within your results. Or you can choose or you can choose which is result execution you want to see. In addition to that, in the results page over here, what you can do is you can see, you can add a filter to further narrow down your results. This filter will be based on the output of each automation or workflow, such as profile name, ID, company name, etc., etc. Let's try that. You can add as many filters as you want. It is. And that's it. Understanding and utilizing the data store and filters in Texo will greatly enhance your ability to manage and optimize your automations. Explore these features to maximize your Texo experience. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.